So I have these friends, <clears throat> very close friends, that we connected with a few years back in the Metroplex area in the city of Irving. And they have this wonderful ranch here uh, out in Quinlan. They invite us out here and, uh, just about every weekend they have open that they're out here or any holiday they want us to be with them. They ask us to be with them and we enjoy it. We enjoy coming out here. And as I come out here and I see the beautiful trees and the landscaping and the and the uh, the creek that runs through the middle of the property, I am I'm often awestruck at the audacity of man to think that there is no God. There is a God, truly a creator, in which chose the trees to be the green that is just so beautiful and and the air to be fresh that blows through our uh, on our face uh, the the grass that is so soft like silk under our feet and even more so the joy of the laughter of your friends and your family playing volleyball together truly there has to be a God a great architect who created these things that brings pleasure to man the world may want to say evolution but I say there's a God because even though you may say evolution created the eyes in my forehead, the nose in the center of my head, the mouth so that I may speak, evolution did not give me the smell of a beautiful rose that would be pleasant to my nostrils, the air that reaches and touches my skin, the water in the cool of the day. Evolution could not do that. Evolution could not provide watermelon that tastes so sweet to the palate evolution could not do that so truly I believe that there is a God a God that created this earth a God that created you and me and a God that desires for us to be the Word of God says in Ephesians chapter 1 that he created us to be holy and blameless before him in love he created us for his good pleasure and for his purpose could it be that the way I enjoy watching my children play in laughter, running around on four-wheelers or playing volleyball, I enjoy their, their gazes at me and their conversations with me. Could it be that our Heavenly Father desires to enjoy the very same thing from you and I? I want to encourage you today, talk to your friend, your God, your Creator of Heaven and Earth. God bless you. I'm Clark Ortiz. And you have a good Labor Day.